today I'm going to be doing the part 2 of the soccer game that we made last time. It got a ton of views and it got over 50 likes, which means that this is going to be a part 2. So we're going to be adding a background, some goals, and other stuff like that. The first thing is you're going to want to go to your stage and go to backdrops. And I'll provide this, so leave a link for that. But I'm going to provide you guys in a Google Drive format uh, a picture of what the background is going to be. So it's called Back for Soccer in my file. Basically, I just made this really fast, and it's uh, it's not amazing, but it'll do the job for now. And obviously, you guys can make this whatever you want. But basically, we're going to go to when flag is clicked, and then in our ball, we're going to say forever, if, and then you want to say touching color and all that. So you're going to say touching color, and then you're going to get the blue. Then basically, uh, it's going to add score. So you're going to make a... Um, two variables one of them is going to be called red score and the one other one is going to be called blue score obviously so basically once you have these you're going to say change blue score by one but before we do anything we're going to want to set both of them to zero because when you start the game you want them to be even so if it touches color blue that means the red person scored so it should be like that actually and then same thing, vice versa for the other guy. So change uh, blue score by one. All right, so also with this, you're gonna wanna broadcast a message. So go to events and broadcast a message and it's gonna be called reset. Because every time that we uh, somebody scores a goal, we're gonna wanna have a reset, basically a function or a message where when it is uh, called, all you're gonna wanna do is just reset everything. So we just duplicate it here and we can duplicate where, uh, we can duplicate it here and we're gonna go into our red sprite and say, when I receive reset, we already have this, which is red point and blue point, um, but that just changes the set red speed y and all that. So we're, all we're gonna do is go into data and say set, red score or not red score my bad uh red speed and watch this we can just duplicate this and go like that and then say say yeah that should be it for uh that and then basically you can drag this and make sure your mouse is over the blue so we can just copy that and then get rid of this and right click duplicate there we go. All right. So along with that, you're gonna wanna put these. So remove that so we get a go to, right? And then do the same thing for here, but also for the ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, when I receive a uh, reset, when I receive reset, and in that you're gonna say, um, we can uh, go into data and say set blue score to um, oh wait, say set ball speed to zero, set ball direction to uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just set it to zero, and I think that's it. Right? Okay. So we've basically reset everything. Once somebody scores, you can put the red score here, I guess, and. Uh, the blue score on the other side just double tap the variables to change them into the different format and this is how it's gonna work so we'll play as a blue character and we'll move it sorry it's laggy it's because my computer ha is having a tough time uh, running scratch and recording which it's a nice Mac so I don't know why it does that but apparently it does so we forgot to do something uh, we have to set this to go to zero zero obviously I don't know how I forgot that I'm gonna do that at the very start. But yeah, my computer, I guess, isn't working as fast as it used to. So it's not loading in time. And that's also why you hear that buzzing sound in the background. That's just my computer, the fan, I guess. But anyways, let's get back into the tutorial. So you can see we can kick it around. There's no outs in this game, and it bounces off the wall. We're gonna move this guy out of the way, just to see if it works. Again, it's W, all right, let's do it, guys. Yeah, we scored. For some reason, it scored too. 
and the red guy didn't go into place let's see if oh you know what happened basically we're setting red to these colors and these colors should actually be darker because we're using the other one or we can just do this no we'll just make it like this so set this dark red for the outline and the second dark red here now it should work better oh no oh good job okay and then this guy oh for red it still for some reason does that that's weird uh let's see every time not red point oh whoops i messed up okay some of you guys probably caught that that's my bad but basically shouldn't be right okay that's pretty good so we added the goals and scoring and we'll see if this works yeah okay it works pretty good and you can see that all the balls go into the certain direction but the game isn't like that pretty like it doesn't look like a good game we need some more visual aspects and we need to add a winning um a winning thing so if somebody gets to let's say five they win first that way we can have a clear winner and we need to add a menu screen so those are things we're all going to be doing in the next tutorial again i'm going to need 50 likes from you guys to uh upload another video because a lot i have a lot of series and only if they're um really wanted i'm going to make a next part otherwise i'll just continue the one that's most wanted so if it takes over 50 likes i can tell you guys that i'm going to be making a part three Anyways, thanks for watching. This is a pretty short um, video today, but see you guys next time, and peace out.